Hello everyone. Today in this video we are going to learn about what is Newton's divide and difference formula. Okay. So it's one of the formula used in interpolation method. Okay. So uh, my first question arises is where and why will I use this formula? Okay. So uh, you have Newton's uh, forward interpolation, backward interpolation, uh, Lagrangian interpolation. Why will you use this formula? Okay. Why? I will use this formula because there is not an even difference between these values. Like in Newton's forward interpolation and Newton's backward interpolation, what was there? There was an even differences like 5 minus 0, 10 minus 5, 15 minus 10. There was a difference of 5. Okay. But over here, if you check 3 minus 2, which is 1, 6 minus 3, which is 3, 7 minus 6 is 1. 9 minus 7 is 2. So the difference is just not even. Okay. So here we will use this Newton's divide and difference formula. Okay. And why will we use it? We will use it with our convenience. Okay. You can use Lagrange's 2 over here, but we are using the Newton's divide and difference formula. Okay. So Lagrange and Newton divide and difference formula both compute or both can solve sums on this uneven breakage like uneven uh, sequence of numbers if they are unequal sequence of number unequal then newton divide and difference formula and lagrange interpolation formula both can solve the, that sums okay so uh, i am clear with that now now i am moving to the sum this portion you have been provided in your examination paper that <laughs> this question will not be provided you will be provided with this type of question and what will I do with this uh, table is I will construct a new table from this table. Okay. So uh, first I will write my x value over here as I was doing in my Newton's forward and Newton's backward. You are quite familiar like it is just simple with new it is just like Newton's forward and Newton's backward interpolation method. But no after this these columns are basically quite different from Newton's forward and Newton's backward. That's why it is different from both of the uh, Newton's uh, forward and backward interpolation method. Okay. So how will I compute x0 and x1? Okay. So I'll compute like this 39 minus 15. Okay. I'm writing over here 39 minus 15 divided by 3 minus 2 which will give me uh, 24 and 24 is my answer. So 243 minus 39 divided by 6 minus 3. 243 minus 39 divided by 6 minus 3. What will I get? 43 minus 39 is uh, 204. Uh, and 6 minus 3 is 3. If I divide it, I'll get 68. Okay. So I'll get 68. And 68 is the required answer. Similarly, if I subtract this from this and divide it by 7 minus 6, I'll get 132. And if I subtract this, this from this and divide it by this, I'll get 190. So this is quite clear. Okay. Now moving to x0, x1, x2. How will I find that? It is basically simple and as we were doing in this portion, we will be doing a same over here, but not with this value. We will do this, this computation value using this and this. Okay. So how will we do that? 68 minus 24 divided by, I am computing this part. What is x0, x1, x2? divided by x2 minus x0. What is x2 over here? I have written this thing. x0 is 2, x1 is 3, x2 is 6, x3 is 7 and x4 is 9. Okay. So what is my x2? x2 is 6, x2 minus x0. What is x0? 2. 6 minus 2. So these are my first values. This minus this divided by this minus this. Okay. I get 44 divided by 4 which is 11 okay so 11 is my answer now what I will do I'll subtract this from this 
same. I will subtract 68 from 132 divided by just shift this one bit. Uh, just shift it to one place. Previously it was on 6, now it will be come on, coming on 7 and previously it was on 2, now it will come on 3. 7 minus 3. What is 7 minus 3? Which is 4. My answer will be 16. Again 198 minus 132 and I will shift this by 1. 9 minus 6. So I will get 22. Okay. Now I will have to compute and I will compute this table till I get a single digit over here or a single number over here or I'll get a zero over here, okay? So now I'll compute x0, x1, x2 and x3, okay? So what is this? Same, same, if I subtract this from this, if I subtract this from this, which is 16 minus 11, okay? And then divide it by x3 minus x0. What is x3? x3 is 7 and x0 is 2. Now my pointer is on this and this. Okay? So 7 minus 2 which is 5. This will be 5 by 5, 1. 1. Now same. If I subtract 16 from 22, I will get 6. Okay? And I will just shift this one place. Like 9 minus 3. Okay? So uh, this is 22 minus 16 by 9 minus 3 which is equal to 6 by 6 which is equal to 1 I've got 1 now if I subtract this from this it will be 0 but I'm just showing you off to clear yourself clear it yourself 1 minus 1 by what is there x4 minus x0 what is x4 x4 is 9 9 minus 2 so what will I get? 9 minus 2 is 1 minus 1 by 9 minus 2 is 7 which will obviously be 0 as because 1 minus 1 is there. If it was 7, if if it can be, if it can be, if it was 7 and it was 6 then my value will be 7 minus 6 by 9 minus 2. Okay? But it won't be like that. It will be similar to this thing only. But I am showing you as an example. How will I do that one? Okay. So I have just constructed my table. Okay. So from my table, I am just moving to the formula part. Okay. So what is my formula? Y equals to fx plus x in x minus x naught into this plus x minus x naught x minus one x one into this plus x minus x naught x minus x one x minus x two x minus x three dot 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 x minus x n into that portion. Okay. So what is my fx? This thing we have to take and my fx will be 15. Okay. What is x minus x naught? x is 5. And what is my x naught? x naught is, uh, one second, x naught is 2. Okay. So 5 minus 2 and x naught minus x1, uh, x naught x1, 24. Okay, now 5 minus 2, 5 minus 3 into 11 plus 5 minus 2, 5 minus 3, 5 minus 6 into 1 plus 5 minus 2, 5 minus 3, 5 minus 6, 5 minus 9 into 0. So I will get this and my answer will be this. Thank you friends for liking our videos. Do subscribe it and for any queries just comment down below.